Hey, look, this is going to be a very raw video because this error just happened to me yesterday with my uh, X-T3. And if you own an X-T3 or a 4, you know every once in a blue moon, uh, the camera will like freeze. And all you have to do is, you know, take the battery out, put it back in and it resets and you're fine. Usually that's what I have to do. Well, yesterday I was on a studio session, put the camera down. Uh, came back to it, I noticed that the back of the screen, the image looked weird and it was frozen. So I was like, no problem. Battery out, in. Battery out, in. Yeah. Um, see this black screen of death right here? It doesn't go away. And here's the weird thing. When I turn it off, it's still on. Like, I can't do anything. I can't access the menus. There, I, There is no hard reset there is no factory reset <sighs> so i was like okay let's try this again battery out and yes my batteries are charged um turn it on black screen of death so just so you know if you finally come across this video because i did some searching and could not find anybody going past the take the battery out and put it back in thing i had to contact fujifilm spoke to a great guy for customer service and uh, unfortunately, I have to send it in. And whether it's under warranty or not, we'll, we'll see. But if you're ever wondering um, why do us pros have backup cameras, there's always two with us somewhere, is because if this happens, one is in my bag. Thankfully, I did have my backup camera on me and I was able to continue the shoot. But let's go to the computer and let me show you where you have to go to contact Fuji and print out a uh, service report application form thingy so you can send it in and get fixed. But first, register myfujifilm.com and what you're gonna have to do is um, sign in, register yourself first, okay? And then when you're done, you're gonna hit next and then you're gonna go to products and you're gonna register your products. Um, once you have your products registered with the serial numbers, uh, up to $3,000 worth of equipment, you're on their, um, preferred plan, kind of like Canon has their CPS pro plan, you know, they, it recognizes you as a pro photographer and it'll handle your, um, repair a little quicker than the average Joe. Um, I did do that. And then you print the form. It looks like this. So look, you're gonna print the form, you're gonna get a SKU on here and uh, go ahead and ship it off and they'll call you and let you know how much the repair is. You have to approve it before they do it um, or they kind of go from there. But if you're looking for a video that we like black screen of death, now what? Yeah, call Fujifilm immediately, okay? Call support, tell them what's going on because the faster you get this thing resolved, um, the better off you are. Hope this video helps somebody. I am off to go send my Fujifilm for repair. And I rented another XT4 so I can work. Yeah, not cool. See you later. Hey, look, as I was doing this video, I just realized that the program does cost money if you want to be a registered pro for their service, their pro service, Fujifilm Pro Service. Um, it's $3.99 a year, but it does give you 30% off um, repairs and free check-ins and expedited shipping, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, that's a thing.